Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, you know, all praise is to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Prayer to the Most High blesses this lesson this evening because we're not understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. Tonight, we're just going to have a little discussion with the family of the things that are going on right now. We're going to take a little application of the things that are, the Most High has uh, given us and just apply it to what we're seeing going on right now here in the world. Something that was kind of sticking out to me when I had watched the news today. And if you watch the news, you just got to learn how to pick up on the little things that uh, Esau and the Gentiles are dealing with. You got to understand that, you know, these Gentiles, especially the ones over here in America, are used to having everything going smoothly, swimmingly, easy. No one here to uh, mess up their uh, their plans. They got plans for the you know the weekend. They got plans for the summer. They got plans you know for the end of the school year. They you know they all the rites of passages and their graduations. And when any little thing comes and disrupts their plans, these people are just going ape shit all over the place. I woke up this morning to a story on uh, Zero Hedge, and it was uh, a mom and a group of people decided in uh, Idaho to go ahead and have a play date at a park that was closed because of CV. And uh, you guys got to, if you look up on Zero Hedge, it, it's there. Just, just go check it out. This woman is just pretty much the police officer was telling her to uh, leave the premises and she refused to go and she pretty much just baited these officers to arrest her you know and it's like they they have these rules and these people you know i said these gentiles are not used to following rules the rules don't apply to them the rules only apply to black and brown people everyone else can just pretty much you know put thumb their noses to the rules, do whatever the hell they want. And the police officers have been looking away. That's what they're used to. Now, all of a sudden there's these rules and they're like, hell no, I'm not, I'm not listening to these rules. I'm going to go to the park. I don't care what you say. And now, you know, it's just how the things are just, everything is just starting to switch. And now these police officers ended up arresting this woman and people were just going crazy. You can't arrest her. She has kids. And this, 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 and that. And I'm like, how many times have they come into our, you know, our house, taking people out of the house, you know, not worrying about the kids? How many times have they shot our kids down and, and not worried about the kids? You know, I said, this is the kind of treatment that they get. Well, what we've been getting that they haven't had to deal with. Just like when, you know, I'm just cracking up. They're like, well, you're going to arrest her for coming and using a park? Well, what about us? When you had your white only parks and you had all the best facilities and you gave us the garbage facilities. And if we were to show up and drink in a, out of a white only fountain that was all clean and you gave us the, the ones that are dirty and all, you know, all nasty. Um, Y'all didn't have any problem with all that stuff then. But see, now that that, you know, that curse is going on the other foot and now you guys don't like it. And I was just going down into the comment board and it's just like, they were, they were pretty much just uh, threatening the police officers. Like, you know, you know, these people are, these cops are going to, you know, they're going to pretty much, they're going to get it because, you know, they're taking away my rights and this, this, this. And all of a sudden now these people who love law enforcement, all of a sudden now got a problem with them enforcing the law against them. And, and like I said, in the last video, they don't understand. They act like it's the elites. They always love to put it on something else, like it's the elites that are doing this. The elites that you guys keep referring to get their marching orders from the spirits that guide them. Those spirits get their marching orders from the Most High. The Most High is the one that's doing this to you. The Most High is the one that is taking the blessings. See, everything, the blessings that Hebrews get 
revolves around almost all the time the land. The blessings that you guys got, you Gentiles got, was our land. Now the Most High is taking that from you, and you don't know how to handle it. Because you guys are used to being able to go out and just enjoy our lands, and now you can't. You're used to having all the money, all the time, and all access to our lands for you to go out and enjoy, and like everything was made just for you. See, these lands that are here that you guys are occupying are our lands, and they were made just for us. And now the Most High is cutting your access to these lands right now. And the Gentiles are having a hell of a time dealing with it. So much so that they are getting very delusional. Today's message, so you got to listen to what they say. Today's message kind of went on with what they were talking about yesterday, how there's going to be, it might be a resurgence of the virus and the fall along with flu season. Now I'm over here like just laughing, just listening. Because I'm like, is anybody picking up what they're talking about? They're saying there might be a resurgence of CV in the fall. I'm like, hold up. Last time I checked, there's a, a couple thousand people dying daily from CV. Last time I checked, the vast majority of the country is shut down. Last time I checked, schools are closed. Colleges are closed. Vast majority of restaurants are closed. This nation is just bleeding money. We had 22 million, 20, uh, 21, 22 million people file for unemployment in the last four weeks. And these dudes are talking like the CV is over with, CV is gone, and that um, it might come back in the fall. And we got time now to get everything situated because we already went through round one. Now we get a break to get everything situated. So we're ready for round two. I was like, hmm. I said, this doesn't make any sense. I said, but this is what Gentiles are do. If they can't fix a problem really quick, they just ignore the whole problem. You know, I said, you got all these states now. I guess there's all these guidelines that these states are supposed to meet before they can reopen. None of these states are meeting the guidelines, but they're going to go ahead and open up anyways. Because Gentiles are not used to, uh, they're not used to having to be patient. They don't know how to follow directions and just, you know, do what's best for them. I listen, I've posted something on IG, on Instagram uh, earlier today, talking about um, that governor from Texas or Lieutenant Governor, something like that. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but let me just get the, um, I think a lot of you guys already heard it or have seen it, but if you haven't, I would suggest you go onto Instagram and check it out. Um, let me go there real fast. See what I can do here real quick. My uh, handle on Instagram is big and then like a space Judah space 2019. And it's right there. And it's like Texas Lieutenant Governor on reopening state. There are more important things than living. <laughs> that was the title. You know, I borrowed this from uh, from someone else, but it's like, uh, yeah, there are more important things than living. This dude was like, it's more important for me to have, you know, a, an America for my children and for my grandchildren, you know. And only 500 people died out of like 29 million. So he's just pretty much telling you that he doesn't give a rat's ass about the 500 people that died. He doesn't care about anybody that dies. All he cares about is getting the economy going for his kids and his grandkids. Oh, and for everybody else too. So you got to pick up what they're saying. They want America for themselves. America running, the economy running is for them. And in any of you, any of the rest of you guys, you guys get the crumbs or whatever else. 
if you say go to Instagram, if you guys have Instagram and check that out, big space Judah space 2019. And he is, uh, I posted up earlier. I, I'm not even going to play it because I don't think you guys will be able to hear it. Let me see. Saving this country for my children and my grandchildren and saving this country for all of us. And I don't want to die. Nobody wants to die. But, man, we gotta, we got to take some risk and get back in the game and get this country back up and running. So in the meantime, life again. is valuable. But 500 people out of 29 million, and we're locked down, and we're crushing the, the average worker. We're crushing small business. We're crushing the markets. We're crushing this country. And what I said when I was with you that night, there are more important things than living. And that's saving this country for my children and my grandchildren and saving this country for all of us. And I don't want to die. Nobody wants to die. But, man, we gotta, we got to take some risk and get back. In okay. Hopefully you guys can hear that. But, I mean, it just shows you how the wicked think. They don't care about other people. They don't care about their lives. They All they care, it's YOLO. Get it while you can. And that's exactly what they how they live. And see, before, you know, YOLO was pretty much A, um, work the Hebrews to death so I can enjoy myself. But see, that's their mentality. They don't care about anybody else. If you remember, um, and, um, you know, when it was talking about the Hebrew slaves, <clears throat> they pretty much didn't care about us. You know, I said, because they were like, it was pretty much their only slaves. They don't care about our people. As long as they get what they want, that's all that they care about. They didn't care about killing us. They still don't care about killing us because all they want is everything for them. You know, and I said, the Prince of Egypt, when, uh, you know, Moses found out that they had killed like, you know, all the firstborn and he was talking to the Pharaoh and a Pharaoh just pretty much just said, you know, about killing all this, the firstborn, they were only slaves. These guys right here in these high up positions, they don't care about you dying. They don't care if you catch a virus. You know, all they want is their money. They want their land and they want everything for their kids. So they can pass it down from generation to generation, that generational wealth. That's all that it's been about. So now when you sit here listening to these new casts and they're just, you know, these broadcasts and they're talking about how, oh man, yeah, that first wave, man, we, you know, we, we pretty much defeated that first wave. So now, you know, we can expect a second wave. And then Trump was like, well, who's to say it's even going to come back? It might not ever even come back. Well, I mean, considering the fact that you haven't even, they have not even dealt with the first wave. Why would they just be all of a sudden talking about a second wave? If there's, you know, hundreds of, of thousands of people that are catching or being exposed to CV, the death toll keeps climbing a couple thousand every single day. You know, and it's it'll probably be if it's going to be doubling, you know, every week or so. That means that in a week or so, it'll be in the eighty thousand. If it's not going to slow down, because that's why they keep saying, "Well, it's slowing down." Well, it might be slowing down in certain places, but it's going to speed up now that all these different governors are racing to reopen. Like I said before, the closure is not just by chance. It's not just like, "Oh, this virus just showed up out of nowhere." It, everything got slow, you know, this whole virus, all the things that are going on right now, all the curses that have been released on the Gentiles is because the Most High is in charge. The Most High is closing their access to our lands. The Most High is allowing our lands here to be able to regenerate without having so many people, you know, encumbering the lands. So if they're in such a rush to open everything up, that means they're going against the Most High's plans. So now it's just going to be like a little test to see what's going to happen when they go against what the Most High has ordained. The Most High has ordained a closing down of society. Just about every time they open things back up, the Most High just brings more pain and more suffering. These people don't understand that. All they understand is, you know, pleasure, wanting to be able to have pleasure for themselves. So and you got all these states getting ready to open. I'm like, they said, listen to George opening up bowling alleys, nail salons, barber shops, <laughs> the gym. <laughs> Is that not a recipe for disaster? Uh, and all these other states trying to do the same thing. Hurry up and open up everything. Open up the commerce because of, you know, well, the most high has got them in a catch 22. 
either you keep everything closed and your economy is going to be destroyed or you open up your economy and people are going to catch the CV and they're going to die. That's what the Most High is now doing to this nation. Because the 400 years are up and the Most High is uh, pretty much making everything go back to the, the way it was. He's going to, you know, establish his people once again. And these other nations have not cared about the Most High, have not cared about his rules, have not cared about his, his laws. And they've had their time in these lands. It's not going to get any better. But, you know, they don't see it that way because they don't, they don't know the Most High. So let's just read one scripture this evening. Okay. Let's see here. Psalms 50. And we'll start at 17. Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee. They've hated the instruction of the Most High, and have not listened to him, okay? When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thou, um, thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. That's what they've done to us. Talked against their brother slandered us, ignored our, our plight. Even to this day, they ignore all the things that we've gone through. Okay, 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. These, that's what he's doing. He's reproving the Gentiles, Esau, all the other nations, the ones that have been down with the priest of Mahan, and now the Most High is going to set, he's setting us in order right in front of their faces. He's showing, he's exposing them while he's bringing us up, while he's standing us up. He's exposing their spirits and how they are and how backwards they are, how wicked they are while he reproves. He was reproving them while he's setting us up, you know, in their eyes. 22. Now consider this, ye that forget the Most High, Okay, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Okay, you guys have forgotten the Most High. You guys, are, you guys have gotten good times Jesus. You guys have forgot the real power of the scriptures, the ones that will just tear into you when you don't do what he wants. You've had, you know, these Gentiles have had so long to do whatever they want here in our lands and to our people that they forgot the Most High. He doesn't play. So if he's the one that has shut you down and you're going against the shutdown, just expect him to tear you to pieces. Again, 22. Now consider this, ye that forget the most high, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. The most high will tear people, tear you into pieces if you don't do his will and none can deliver you. That's exactly what happened to us in the curses. That's what happened to us in January 2868 when Mosai said, you know, no one's going to deliver us out of this, out of this beatdown that we're going to have to go through. Same thing applies to you. No one's going to be able to help you in this beatdown you're going to get. The Mosai has already told you he doesn't want these things open. He doesn't want this economy to continue. He doesn't want these churches open. So every time you go against what he says, he's going to tear into you. And there's not going to be anything that anyone can do to stop it. All they're doing right now is just ignoring it. Oh, well, we got through that first round real good, you know, but uh, we're, we're, you know, but the, we're going to get ready for the second round. I'm like, what? That, that makes absolutely no sense. But consider the source. They make no sense whatsoever. Okay. 23. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. And to him that ordereth his conversation, all right, will I show the salvation of the Most High. At this time, we're supposed to be praising the Most High, thanking the Most High. That's what we do in at least a couple times a day, you know, as a people now. 12 o'clock your time, no matter where you're at, you know, in the world. And 6 o'clock uh, West Coast time, we're, you know, praying and looking at how the Most High is, is fixing everything and giving us knowledge understanding and breaking down the nations. 
So I said, just take a look at what's going on in the news. Take a look at how they're reacting. You know, they're not reacting very well to losing, you know, their control over our land. That's what that was their blessing. So they were able to do that. But now the Most High is cutting that off. And you see these people losing their minds. So I just want to have a quick little conversation with you guys this evening. To kind of bring a couple of things to your attention. And just keep on praying every day. And the Most High is moving. Most High is turning them one against another, just like he's always done for his people. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who is wisdom, who is the Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.